seeing those triple digits next week. Yeah. Brianna, yeah, uh, get ready. And, uh, sorry, I couldn't bring you better weather here. I know. Uh, more humidity, certainly. Get ready for this. But hey, it looks good right now, and it's actually not a bad night tonight. This week, definitely warming up. Live look at Central looking towards the south. All right, uh, again, back to those earthquakes. Now, that's a little bit more like California, I guess, than Texas, right? So, uh, okay, earthquakes. Again, another one today. This one, uh, an aftershock, almost the same magnitude as the one yesterday near Snyder. A 4.5 magnitude as opposed to the 5.1 yesterday, but that was the fifth strongest in Texas history. That shows you we don't see too many that are above, you know, four or five. So you would definitely feel that if you're in those areas. Uh, probably not quite as far east as we did on that previous one here in DFW, but very interesting to say the least. All right, let's go over the weather wall. There's the latest data that we're coming in from that one today. It happened just after four o'clock. Uh, the epicenter depth was at the same distance, uh, two miles deep. So fairly shallow. And so you'll see a lot of aftershocks here, pretty common and much smaller ones as well. Around 60, that's not unheard of with this. So again, magnitude 4.5. So you will definitely feel that uh, and some small uh, earthquakes there as well in Oklahoma, around Oklahoma City, central Oklahoma. All right, live look downtown. Beautiful out there right now. Heat index 87, not bad. Uh, later this week, we will be wanting that number right back. Uh, heat indices across the board. Now, it looks like the map had one little uh, error there because that's reading a heat index like well into the hundreds there, that little pink spot. But 87 in Dallas, 80 in Waxahachie, 86 in McKinney. Not too bad. These numbers are coming in from a little earlier. Uh, I bet Denton feels a little bit cooler than that right now. Now, the latest information from the Hurricane Center, this just came in. Now, a medium chance of formation for this tropical disturbance. And it doesn't look like anything right now. So it's a loose spinning basically in the lower levels of the atmosphere. But as that moves west here, the Lesser Antilles, it should get its act together uh, with the lack of wind shear in this area and warmer waters. So this the reason we're watching this closely across the United States is it looks like some of the models bring this in maybe to the southeastern U.S. We'll see. But the European model does a pretty good job here. This is a measure of what we call vorticity spinning in the atmosphere at about 10 to 15,000 feet. So if there were to be development, it would be kind of in this region. So again, the latest European model by Saturday has something fairly interesting getting closer to the southeast U.S. We'll see. Hopefully the trends push that to the east. The good news for us, uh, with all the high pressure that's going to build in over the southern plains, nothing in the western gulf whatsoever. So take a look at the high pressure. It kind of builds and you see this whole ridge extending all the way up even towards uh, the central plains, Chicago, the northern plains. And then it will shift back to the west and really build in. And there you go, right there. That's an upper level, uh, very high pressure ridge moving to the west by Friday. And watch how quickly this kind of retreats to the west. And all of a sudden you get these winds at low to mid to upper levels pushing in from the north. So northerly flow. And I think you could get some chances, albeit small, some rain chances and a little break in the pattern next weekend. So this is not, this certainly has not been our traditional summer where we get months of that high pressure and no break. Uh, I think again, even though this will set over us this week, We'll probably see some chances build back in next weekend. Pretty quiet all week. And then finally, there you go, Friday, maybe some activity, thunderstorm activity in southern Oklahoma. And then it starts to build down. There you go. Uh, pretty spotty as we go through next Saturday. But we're still a ways out. We'll see where that goes. We'll certainly be hot and humid. So we may have a few thunderstorms there. Right now, I still have chances at just 10% tomorrow, mainly south and east and then 10% by next Saturday. But we've got a lot of heat to get through first, August 1st on Thursday. Hard to believe that. All right, we'll be back after this.